Hello everyone, Patamontas here and today we are going to talk about anatomy drawing. I'm not gonna be talking about how to draw tutorial, how to draw anatomy, how to draw this part of them, nah, nah, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> but today's video is gonna be told, I'm gonna be talking something relatable to you all as an artist, which is the struggle of learning how to draw anatomy. The struggle that you guys maybe have when you are trying to learn anatomy. Yeah, like me. I'm also struggling learning anatomy, not just you. So it's not a big deal or not a big problem if you're having a struggle when learning anatomy, it's okay. You're not the only one. Everyone also probably having a struggle with it. So basically I'm gonna be talking about three things, three struggles, three pains when it comes to learning how to draw anatomy. Okay, let's just go to the first one, okay, okay? So the first struggle is you just don't know where to start. You know, human body? There's a lot of things going on there. There's a lot, lot, lot of things. We have the skeleton, we have the muscle, we have the meat, the bone, the, the what is it called? The veins, the, the fat, uh, what else? The facial feature, the structure, how the body moves, the joints, and blah, blah, blah. There's, wah, it's too overwhelming. And I know, I know all of you having struggled with that, right? Right, right, right. I'm not, I'm not wrong, right? Of course I'm not. And as a beginner, you must be wondering, where should I start? What, what should I learn first? Oh, I don't have any idea what should I learn. Should I learn the torso first? Should I learn to, how to draw the feet first? Should I learn how the muscle works first? Should I learn how the skeleton works? Oh, I don't know where to start. Well, let this man help you. I'm gonna tell you what you should learn first. So, what should you learn? You should learn how to draw the head first, the human head. Why is that? Let me give you the reason as well. So, for example, you have a favorite character or from your favorite anime game show or whatever. And you want to make a fan art of it. So, what you gonna make a fan art of it? Of course the face, of course the head, right? Because that's what the iconic things that going on on every character in the game, in the film, in the movie, in the anime, blah blah blah, yeah. Because the face is just wonderful things and it's also really fun to learn how to draw face because cause, 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 cause it's just fun to try it out, okay? It's just fun. Trust me. <laughs> it's also easier actually to learn how to draw face rather than you try to learn how to draw the hands, the feet, the, the legs, the torso. Uh, it's just complicated. So try to draw the face first and then you're gonna go to the other things like you wanna draw the torso and you're gonna go down again to the pelvis and then you go down again to the leg and go down again to the feet and also don't forget the arm because that's also important things but first draw the head first go from the top into the bottom and now we are gonna move to the second struggle which is the study resource Study resource, yeah, it's basically like the same thing as the first one, you just don't know where to start, but this one is about the material, about the study resource. I mean, right now, nowadays, <coughs> so nowadays, there's a lot of tutorials out there, right? For example, there's YouTube videos, Instagram reels, TikTok tips and tricks, blah blah blah, and also there's a lot of anatomy books out there. And you probably don't know which one you should watch or read or you know, whatever to, to learn how to draw anatomy. Let me, let me give you the resource. <laughs> let me tell you a tips to learn. So, if you're a beginner and you're just starting out, in my opinion and my suggestion as well, don't read the book. Because... <laughs> Book, anatomy book is just really complicated usually and it's really overwhelming for you all. So it is, my suggestion is you better watch a YouTube video, YouTube tutorial about how to draw anatomy and well there's a lot of anatomy drawing tutorial on YouTube right? The channel is also there's a lot but my suggestion for the channel if you are want to learn how to draw anatomy for the first time is you need to watch this one 
The channel name is Chomang Drawing. He's a Korean artist. He makes a lot of tutorial about anatomy drawing, and also he do like a real time drawing about that, uh, like a pose drawing, figure drawing. It's really good. You can also follow him up, guys. He draw not really fast, not really slow, and uh, and the voice is really calming. So it's really good for you to learn from him. And the second channel that I suggest all of you to learn is from Proko. Yeah, Proko is great if you want to learn anatomy. But the thing about Proko is he explains something like really detail. And for a beginner, I don't really recommend it. But if you already know about something about anatomy and you want to, uh, you want to, what is it called? Increase your knowledge about anatomy, then you must watch his channel because he really explain everything in detail and really well. So good. And after already watching about drawing tutorial video, now you better go for reading a books and anatomy books. Yeah, it's not really that great actually. Reading an anatomy book is like reading <laughs> some science book. Yeah. Not all books is complicated, but most of them are. Yeah, it's complicated, especially the famous one like the old master anatomy book. You know, like George Bridgman. Uh, oh, who is that? Loomis and Andrew Loomis. You know the Loomis head method. Yeah, the book is kind of complicated actually. But uh, a book recommendation for you all. I'm gonna give three books recommendation, especially for beginner. So the first book is gonna oh my god my WhatsApp. <laughs> so the first book it's gonna be Tom Fox Draws, uh, anatomy book. It's really good. Tom Fox really explain everything well and also easy to learn, especially for beginner. Not really that easy, but by learning uh, those that book, it literally gonna boost your knowledge about anatomy. And then the second book will be Michael Hampton drawing book. Michael Hampton, yeah, he is a famous artist, and the book is also contains a lot of anatomy materials. The anatomy is kind of uh, detailed, so it's maybe kind of complicated for you all. But but the thing is, that book explains everything, really, uh, literally almost everything, and it's just really great. Also the drawing, the drawing looks really great. Michael Hampton, I really, I really admire him. And the third book is kind of easier than those two, and also for beginner, it's really easy to learn. Not really that easy to learn, cause this book is more like a tips and tricks, not a how to draw anatomy books. So the book is by Taco Seventeen Zero Four. It's a point character drawing book. I already make a flip over review about this book on my channel before like three uh, one month two months ago i don't know i forgot but yeah you can watch that you can watch that video and see the book a little bit from that video and that's it that's the study resource that i can give you all so there is chomang drawing and proko for the youtube channel and the book there is tom fox draws books Michael Hampton book and also this Taco 1704 point character drawing book. Yep, just those five and you can master the anatomy. Not really master, but yeah, you're gonna be good at anatomy. Okay, now we're gonna go for the last struggle, the number three, which is you're not having fun. Remember when you are a kid and you're really having fun when it comes to drawing in general. That's what you need to have when it comes to learning anatomy as well. You need to have fun. <laughs> and I don't really have a tip for you all to get that fun when it comes to drawing because every person have different uh, different ways to get fun. So I'm sorry for this one. I don't really have tips. And that's it for today's topics. It's not really that much about the struggle actually, but let me tell you some struggle about drawing anatomy for me. So when it comes to drawing anatomy, my struggle will be the hands, also the feet. Yay! <laughs> what about you all? 
the hands is complicated it has those finger and also when it comes to the rotation you're gonna get confused you're gonna get confused with it so it's really hard and the feet also like that also also the muscle part for example the arm the arm muscle if you are not doing the stylized disney style and you're trying to do a semi-realism or a realistic study a realistic painting digital painting you need to know about the muscle part right and that part is hard because literally the way your muscle move you need also know about something like a perspective like a 3d yeah something like 3d things right now i already know some part of the muscle groups on the arm because i study okay so guys guys make sure you also study anatomy yeah, yeah just study <laughs> okay that's it that's it for today topics and i'll be seeing you guys next time for the rest of this video you're gonna enjoy me drawing and also listen to the music bye bye